Sons and daughters of Helgan, your destiny beckons. Stand with your brothers and sisters. Stand with me, and together we will be undefeated. The past is our faith. The present is our strength. And the future, the future is our birthright. Sons and daughters of Helgan, the path toward a better tomorrow stretches out before us toward a future that is golden and eternal. But our journey together must cross a wilderness of hatred and bigotry, a landscape of lies seeded by the venom of our old enemy. Our foe knows us. He fears us, but we must not underestimate him. The ISA, while they cower and snipe from beneath their veneer of civility and freedom, are soulless and hollow. They make their pretty, mewling claims of liberty and righteousness, and all the while they look upon the face of the Hellgast with loathing and disgust. The enemy sees us as abominations, mutant freaks fit only for killing. To the foe, we are less than human, but they will learn their mistake, my people. We will show them the iron and steel beneath Helga's flesh. We shall cast them against the unbreakable rock of our collective will. We will make them realize the truth that the children of Helgan know in their hearts that our race the Helgas nation is the next step in the evolution of mankind. When we came to Helgan, we were lost. A broken collection of exiles on the verge of death. At first, we thought our new world would poison and destroy us. How wrong we were. Helgan saw what was in every one of us. Our strength and our indestructible spirit and made it manifest. The great change was the rebirth of our people, a people fit to stride the stars and shatter our enemies. Sons and daughters of Helgan, you are the embodiment of that glorious legacy, the inheritors of the victory that we fight for every day. You alone are fit to forge the future and the destiny of our species. History does not long entrust the care of freedom to the weak or the timid. We shall not suffer the irresolute and spineless men of the ISA to dictate our path. When you granted me the privilege of your leadership, I, Scola Visari, willingly sacrifice myself to the engine of our nation. My only goal to bring our people the absolute and deserved mastery of their destiny. I am humbled by the magnificent example that you, my people, have set. The workers and artisans among you who toil and ask not for a claim, but accept the honor of your leaders. The soldiers and warriors who burn with cold fire and unyielding resolve, never flinching before the guns of our adversaries the teachers and commissars who hold the very soul of our people in their hands, shielding it from the lies of the treacherous and disloyal. You seek reward in service alone. Each of you shares in the greatest glory of them all. You are the true Helgast, ruthless to those who oppose us, Massives of those we defeat, unflinching in the face of adversity. I pity all those who are not born beneath our banner, for they will never know the touch of greatness as we do. And yet, there are some among our community who do not march with us. Voices raised in dissent and opposition soft minds that take the words of the ISA for truth to those who bear the seeds of rebellion in their hearts and question the way of the Helgast. I say this, 
Would you have us embrace the very thing that rejected us? Would you make us lay down our rifles and surrender our armor, stark naked before a force that wishes only death for us? Peace is something we all desire. But the ISA would make it the peace of the grave, shattering our nation's spirit and burning us to ashes. Beware the puppets amongst us, sons and daughters of Helgan. Know them and spite them. Give them no succor or shelter. If any one of you doubts the fidelity of another, be it neighbor, brother, parent, or child, speak. It is the sworn duty of my commissars to isolate and re-educate these misguided souls, to bring them back to our fold, expunge their weakness for the greater good. Our victory is imminent. With our hearts tempered in the fires of war, we stride forward and take the fight to the foe. Let us never forget the duty that we have taken upon ourselves. Our enemy is tenacious and bold. The ISA dared to turn their weapons upon that which we hold dearest. Our cradle, our homeworld, our Helgan. This invasion will not go unpunished. This criminal act unleashed the whirlwind of our wrath. Our guns never tire. And we have beaten back the foe, sent them running. The path we have chosen is not an easy one. Struggle is the father of all things, and true virtue lies in bloodshed. But we will not tire, we will not falter, we will not fail. In the blood of our warriors comes the price we must pay. Blood alone moves the wheels of history, and we will be resolute. We will fear no sacrifice and surmount every difficulty to win our just triumph.